Hello my friends, I hope you're enjoying the challenge so far. Please let me know how it's going for you in the comment section down below. I would really love to hear how it's feeling, how it's developing for you, if you're feeling any shifts or changes mentally and physically as you get on your mat and commit to your practice in this way every day. Today I have a playful and strong practice, we're going to get right into it, we're going to move, we're going to open, we're going to expand and play with a bit of crow. So with that said, let's get into it. You're welcome to come onto your hands and your knees, come into a tabletop position, spread into your fingers, grip down into the knuckles of your hands and thread the heart right through, finding full extension of the spine, lifting the chest to the front. And then we round on the out breath, tuck the chin into the chest. Again, lift the heart space as you drop the belly to the floor. And then exhale, we curl the body in, lift up through the back of your heart. Inhale, find that gentle rhythm, reaching the chest through. Exhale, round into self. Again, lower the belly, push into the hands, reaching heart space forwards. And exhale, we round through the upper back, mid back and lower back. With that out breath, you can sit back onto your heels, keeping the toes tucked. Reach the hands to either side of you and start to circle the wrists out in one direction. Steadying your breath, steadying your energy here. And then change the directions of the circles. Beautiful. On your next in-breath, you can stretch the arms all the way up to the sky. Bend into the right elbow and drop your left hand towards your right elbow. Coming into our tricep stretch, gently draw your right elbow towards the left side. Pull the belly button in. Nice neutral spine in this position. And then with that out breath, let's change sides. Right hand meets the left elbow, pulling the elbow towards the right side of your space. Breathe in. And out. Lovely, gently release. Take the hands behind your back. Interlace your hands and puff your chest out. Coming into a little bit of a heart opener, squeeze the shoulder blades together on the back body. Breathe in. I know your feet might be feeling really uncomfortable by now. <laughs> We're just going to stay with it for one more breath. And then with that out breath, if you can, keep the hands interlaced behind the back and make your way into a forward fold, however awkwardly you get there. Bow down over your legs, keep a loose bend into the knees as you get a beautiful opening through the shoulders. Relax the face and take a breath into the shoulders here. And then maybe sigh, any audible sound that wants to come out through the mouth. Softly release the interlace of the hands. Left hand grounds into the floor. You'll stretch your right arm into the sky. Working towards straightening the right leg. Left leg stays bent. Breathe in. And then as you breathe out, change sides. Right fingers meet the mat, stretching left fingers to sky. Continue to drive into both feet. And then with the out breath, both hands drop to the mat. Keeping the knees slightly bent, start to roll the whole spine up to standing. Pushing into the edges of your feet, lengthen out of the waist as you grow tall, high mountain pose. And then guide the hands into the chest in prayer. Inhale, we grow tall once again, lift out of the waistband, push into the feet. Exhale, fold, wash the chest over the legs. And then find your breath, find that rhythm, lift the chest space. On the out breath, bend the knees and start to leisurely make your way forwards into a high plank position. Push away from the ground and then feel into the energy of the arms, core integrated, legs active, whole body alive, awake and alert. Take a breath. Drop your knees down to the ground. Support a chaturanga, we lower the body down. Come into a round of cobra as you reach your chest forwards, peel the shoulders onto the back body. Exhale, we ripple to the floor. And we go again, rise as you push the hips into the earth. And exhale to lower. One more time, breathe in. Pulling the heart right through in between the gates, the shoulders. And then exhale, we soften to the ground. Take the hands behind you. Find locust. Emphasis here is squeezing the shoulder blades together as much as you can. So you can reach in the direction of your feet. 
and then lift your knees off the floor, fire up your legs. We hold on the count of seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful guys, relax to the floor, guide your hands beneath your shoulders, pull the elbows in towards the body, tuck toes, and push yourself slowly with control if you can, plank pose. Roll the hips back, finding your downward facing dog. Okay, let's begin to wiggle it out. Bend into one leg at a time. Relax the face, relax the breath. Finding some ease here as you open up hamstrings, calf muscles, spine and shoulders. On your next in-breath, reach the right toes into the sky. Find your three-legged dog. Pull the knee to the right tricep, round through the upper spine. And lightly, if you can, land the foot outside of your right hand. Lizard shape, we melt the heart and the hips down and forwards, breathe in. And then as you breathe out, start to gently rock forwards and backwards, really getting into our psoas, our hip flexor here. On the out breath, step your right foot back to meet your left foot. Slowly take your flow, Chaturanga Dandasana, upward facing, threading the heart right forwards and through. And then we roll the hips back in your downward facing duck. Reaching your left toes into the sky, three-legged. Left knee to left tricep, hollow out through the armpits, hold for a moment. And then when you're ready, softly land the foot outside of your left hand, coming into your lizard shape. Driving hips down, shift forwards and backwards using the ball of the right foot, the back foot, to find that movement. And then on your next out breath, your left foot steps back to meet your right foot, plank pose. Slowly and controlled, gather in your core, bend the elbows, chaturanga, upward facing, coming into your heart opener, reach through the front body and then flip over the feet as you roll the hips back, downward facing dog. Taking a rooted breath. We begin to lift the heels off the floor now. Find a crouching dog, pull the knees into the heart, and then you're going to spring, step, jump, or walk to the front. We meet in quite an active squatted position. So if you need a few breaths to get here, go for it. No rush, never rush. Reach the hands out in front of you. Breathe into your hips, pretty strong here. And then slowly begin to straighten the legs and guide your hands into your chest. Inhale, we rise, reach the arms up. And then on the out breath, sit back down into your squat, nice and low. Reach the hands out in front of you. Get a little bit lower, find your edge. Softly land the hands down to the floor and step it back into a plank pose. Pushing away from the ground, find a vinyasa of your choice, finding your upward facing or your cobra reaching through front body. And then we roll the hips back with awareness, taking the tailbone back in your downward facing duck. We'll do that a few more times, nice active sun salutations. Start to lift the heels off the floor, find your crouching dog, bend your knees generously, and you can step, jump, or land lightly forwards in your active squat, reaching hands out in front of you. Breathe in, and then straighten the legs as you guide your hands into your chest. Inhale, we rise. Exhale, come back down into your squat, reaching fingers forwards. Lightly land the hands down. Step or jump back into your plank pose, finding your flow chaturanga to your upward facing, reaching sternum forwards. And then we roll the hips back in our downward facing dog. And we go again, heels rise off the earth, crouching dog. Find a sense of lightness and playfulness as you move, reach the hands out in front of you, active squat, breathe in. And then breathe out, guide the hands into the chest as you straighten the legs. Inhale, rising up, fingertips grow tall. Exhale, come back down into your squat. Land the hands to the floor. Step, jump, make your way back into a plank, finding your vinyasa, upward facing and downward facing dog. Two more rounds, heels lift off the earth, bend the knees into the chest, 
Take it forward, step, jump, however you get there, reach the hands forwards, breathe in. Straighten the legs, pull the hands together at prayer. Find that breath, find that play, extend your fingers long, inhale. And exhale, bring yourself back down into your squat. Drop the hands down to the floor, plank position, chaturanga, nadasana. Upward facing, pull the shoulders onto the back body. And then we roll the hips back, downward facing. Last round, lift the heels off the floor. Crouching dog, take it forwards. Softly landing, stretching fingers forwards. Sink a little bit lower into your hips. And then we straighten the legs, bringing hands at heart space. Inhale, rise up, pushing energetically into your feet. Exhale, come back down into your squat. Reaching forwards through the hands. Drop the hands to the earth, plank pose. Find your flow, try to move with awareness. You can slow it down, you can speed it up, don't rush it. Just moving from a sense of playfulness, exploration as we move through space. We meet in our downward facing. Let's all land here with a nice, relaxed breath in through the nose, let the belly expand. And then you can open the mouth and let it go. Beautiful. With that out breath, stretch your right toes back into your three-legged. Pull the knee to the right tricep. So once again, just as we did earlier, round through the upper spine and hold. Your left heel is lifted off the floor. Lightly land outside of your right hand in a lizard lunge. Reach through your chest and your hips. Breathe in and out let's find a twist now stretch your right fingers into the sky reaching into right fingers feel the energy travel up both arms and then you find a side plank of your choice so you're welcome to maybe place this right foot in front of you maybe stack the ankles or for an extra challenge maybe lifting the right ankle off of the left we hold for five for four for three for two for one, nice work guys. Right hand meets the floor, hug the right knee into the chest, listening carefully. Land the right knee down to the floor. Find your supported side plank, stretching your left arm up and over. Push into the edge of your left foot and find a moment of space here. Of expansion across the lateral line of body. You can rise into gate pose, keeping your back left leg straight. Stretch into right fingers, opening up right side body and then lightly land your right fingers down to the floor once again okay listening carefully your left arm is long you'll pick your right knee off the floor using that traction from the back foot and also using the support as you push away from the right hand kick your leg through you're welcome to drop this right foot to the floor or keep it hovering i'm gonna hold for one more moment all right, nice playful transition. Drop your left hand to the floor. Flip your dog, right foot pulls over to the side. Wild thing, reaching through chest space. Are you with me? <laughs> okay, find a moment of play here. Firming into the bum and opening up your chest and your heart space. <sighs> On the out breath, lower the hips. Both hands meet the ground, find a plank position. Take your flow, chaturanga to your upward facing, roll the hips back, downward facing dog. With that out breath, stretch your left toes into the sky, moving with awareness, with playfulness, pull the left knee to the left tricep, lift up through the back of your heart, hug the belly in, and then lightly, lightly if you can, land forwards in your lizard lunge. Breathe in, into the hips, into the heart space. Find your twist, stretch your left arm into the sky, grip down into the right fingerprints as you lean into the left shoulder. We'll come onto the outer blade of the right foot when you're ready and find your side plank. So whatever you had on the first side, try to lift your bottom hip up. We hold for five, for four, for three, two, and one, nice and slowly, left hand meets the ground, hug your left knee in towards your heart, 
and then drop the left knee down to the floor. Supported side plank pose, taking a leisurely softer moment here, finding a sense of ease alongside the efforting. As you feel into the back foot, let's rise into gate pose. Open up left side body. And then nice and slow, taking your time, we land the left hand down to the floor. Feel into the back foot and the left hand as you lift your left knee off the floor. Nice and fiery here. Kick the leg through. You can also find that fallen star variation where the left foot is grounded. We're going to be here for two more breaths. See if you can hold it and fire things up. Don't hate me. <laughs> Okay, nice and slow, bend into the left leg, right hand meets the ground, we flip our dog nice and slowly and consciously, moving through the transitions without rushing, but feeling into each shape, almost from the inside out. Open up your heart space. And then lower the hips, lower both hands down to the ground with control, find a vinyasa. Chaturanga to upward facing. Roll the hips back, feel that movement as you segment your spine back in your downward facing dock. Push into the hands and into the feet. Take a relaxed breath as you sink into the floor. And then begin to slowly lift your heels off the earth. Bend your knees in towards your heart space. We're going to land forwards in our active squat just as we were doing earlier. All right, so let's find our crouching and then you can take it forwards however you get there. Come into your squatted position. Reach the hands out in front of you. Super fiery today. <laughs> okay, start to straighten the legs. Bring your hands into your chest. Inhale. All right, with that out breath. Begin to heel toe your feet closer together so they're about hip distance apart. And then take a moment here just to let your energy settle as you land, as you press into your feet and feel your posture open, receptive and awake. Okay, nice and slowly, begin to lift your heels off the floor. Now start to fire up your quads, so hug the muscles of the legs to the bones of the legs. We'll slowly make our way down into a toe stand. Don't overthink it, just slow and gradual. Try to keep the shoulders in line with the hips as you bend your knees, slow, controlled strength, challenging our balance, challenging our mobility and strength. Okay, if you're here with me, well done, and if you're also wobbling, well done, doesn't matter. You can drop your hands down to your thighs. You can also lower your hands down to the floor if you're struggling with balance. And then try to allow your spine to grow tall and long. Hold for one more moment. And then on the out breath, drop your hands down to the floor, lift your hips up nice and high. We'll play for a round of crow pose. If you have crow in your practice, let's go there now. So bringing the knees towards the triceps, just beneath the armpit line, lifting one foot, maybe lifting the other off the floor, shifting the weight onto the hands, squeeze the heels to the bum. Okay, we're going to try to hold here for five breaths. So see if you can do it. If you wobble and fall, just come back to it. Holding for five, for four, three, two, and one nice guys <laughs> well done drop down into a malasana squat yogi squat bring the hands into the chest lengthen out of the lower back for breath nice and slow take the hands behind you drop your bum down to find a seated position and we'll find pigeon pose, full pigeon pose or fire log pose here. So you're welcome to cross the right shin over the left shin. If you have the openness in the outer hips, you're welcome to find a kind of crossed situation here with the shin bones. This is not accessible to many bodies. So if it feels better to just cross the right foot in front of the left shin like that, let's go for that. Let's shift the hips back a bit. Have the fingers facing forwards and then we work with the breath to ease us into the shape we breathe in lift the heart 
and exhale, lean forwards, halfway. And again, lift the chest, lengthen through the spine slightly. And then exhale, lean forwards a little bit more. Maybe you'll come a little bit closer towards your legs, maybe not. Just see if you can find some more space physically and maybe mentally as well. And begin to nice and gradually make your way back up. Change the cross of your legs, so whatever you had on the first side. Let's keep the feet flexed. Fingers face forwards, shifting hips back. Try to glue your hips into the ground and then lift the heart, inhale. Exhale, maybe leaning forwards, halfway. Making sure that you're not holding onto the breath, but you're continuing to find a steadiness to the breath, which will steady the mind and steady the body as a whole. Inhale, lift up again. Exhale, lean forwards. On your next in-breath, begin to roll all the way up. Uncross your legs and bring your feet to either side of your space in a wide-legged position. Bring your hands behind your back and then we start to flop the knees to the left. So kind of windscreen wiping the knees and then flopping them over to the right. And then slowing it down just a little bit more, feeling into inner thighs, feeling into space through the groin, finding internal rotation and then external rotation. A couple more rounds here. You can begin to slow the movement down even more until you come to a gradual stop. Sitting up nice and tall, we'll start by crossing the right foot in front of the left foot. Reach the arms up to the sky, lift out of the waist, pulling the frontal rib cage into the body. Take a twist to your right side, gently pressing your right fingers on the floor behind you as you peel your right shoulder back. Lengthen out of your waist as you breathe softly. And then gently unwind, change the cross of your legs. Left foot forwards, arms extend up to sky, feeling the energy move up the spine and the arms. And then we take a twist to the other side. Relaxing the muscles across your face and your neck. Gently unwind to face the front of your space. And then we reach the arms up to the sky, feeling the energy in the arms and the hands and the fingers, and then allow your palms to connect here at the top and then bring the hands right into your chest space. Dropping the awareness into the breath and into the heart to close. Let's land and ground with a conscious breath in through the nose. Feel everything expand and then hold it in. So mouth stays closed. We relax into the breath hold. Relax into the breath hold for three, for two, for one. Open the mouth and let it go. Namaste. Thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed that fiery practice. <laughs> Please let me know how you went in the comments below. And if you'd like to sit here for a little while longer in meditation, you are of course very welcome to do that. I definitely encourage that. I am looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Please let me know how it's going for you. As I've mentioned, I'm really keen on hearing how it's all developing for you. And if you feel any of these shifts internally and also physically as you commit to your practice in this way. If you haven't already checked out my website, it is now live and it is open for anyone who is up for a playful challenge and looking for longer practices. All right, guys, have a beautiful day. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you tomorrow.